Okay, so question six asks, what's the difference between a formula unit and a molecule? So first I'll just write down the definition of a formula unit. So formula units are the lowest whole number ratio. So this is similar to like the empirical formula. So lowest whole number ratio of a compound with an ionic bond. So recall that ionic bonds are between two, uh, are between a metal and a non-metal. And when we have a molecule, this is when two or more elements or non-metals are co covalently bonded together. So an example of a molecule is like water. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Both molecule and formula units describe the smallest unit of a compound. Molecules make up a molecular compound, which consists of atoms that are covalently bonded. Formula units make up an ionic compound, which is described as the smallest ratio of the cations and anions present in the compound. The difference is that molecules do not represent the smallest ratio of the atoms present in a molecular compound, while the formula unit is in the smallest ratio of the ions present in the compound. Say, for example, you have hexene, which is C6H6. The molecule of hexene contains six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms which, when written in the chemical formula, is not in the lowest ratio form. Ionic compounds chemical formula is always written in the lowest ratio form, hence it is always regarded that ionic compounds chemical formula is always written in empirical formula form. So an example of like formula units, NaCl, it's already in the lowest whole number ratio. Okay, so I can say that this solution is correct. Okay, so moving on. To